Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and if you're a technology company, you continually innovate. If you're a retail company like I am, you continue to look for stuff that people want to purchase from you. So today, I am going to be introducing to you uh, Devosa watches. Uh, we will get over to the watches. I have four of them to show you. Um, definitely, uh, at least one of them was on Instagram already. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you know, follow me. I, Devosa is not a new brand to me. Uh, not a new brand at all, actually. They've been around since 1993. So uh, what is that? 20, looks like we're in 26 years so far. Um, I did go after the brand many years ago, but I was told they really weren't interested. And then out of the blue, about, I don't know, maybe uh, two months ago or so, uh, they contacted me. They were looking for new retailers and, you know, my store came up favorably. So blah, blah, blah. Very excited. Here we are. My own wrist check. Um, doing the tumbler dial and on this wrist unfortunately it's <laughs> the island watch that i'm going to be releasing like next month or something so I'm, i can't show it to you at this time but there it is uh anyway uh let's check out devosa so in total i have i think i got an 18 different uh devosa watches i'm going to show four of them to you today um and i'm going to try to go quick uh because i'm trying to keep the video shorter and shorter nowadays to uh cope with people shrinking attention spans. So in no particular order, or maybe because it's blue, I'm going to start with the Argon, with the uh, Argonautic. Um, something to note about Devosa, they are all Swiss made, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, sapphire crystals, all the good stuff, solid bracelets, there is a lot of quality going on. And, and as such, you should kind of expect to pay for it. Um, but you'll see, far less than I would say conventional brands. So we're gonna start with the Argonaut. It is um, 798 bucks. Let's see what you get here. You're getting a Salita SW200 automatic movement. So that's a hand winding, hacking, Swiss movement beats at 28,800 beats per hour. It's a 42 and a half millimeter case. It's 13 and a half thick to that beautiful AR Sapphire crystal. It is 51 millimeters on the tip to tip. This is the largest watch I'm going to show you by the way. Uh, it is a 22 millimeter lug, solid screw down case back, as you can see, beautiful, chunky, and solid. It is 300 meters water resistance. So as such, it includes a helium escape valve if you are a true diver. Um, I'm learning a lot about diving and stuff as I just got my PADI open water certification. Um, and knowing what I know, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do a future video on it, but I really doubt a lot of divers use watches like this uh, anymore, but I think it's just super cool. Okay, so the crown is a screw down. You saw me unscrew it and move the hands. Uh, the second hand stops when you pull out the crown at the time. Helium escape valve, actually, if I can get it to focus, has the symbol for helium on it. I got like two neutrons, two protons, and two electrons floating around. It's pretty cool, so you know that that's the helium escape valve. Beautiful, 120 quick bezel. The loom, we're using uh, BGW9, so it looks white now, and when the lights go out, we'll do one whole loom shot on all four watches. Later, uh, we will see blue. Um, beautiful, da, uh, solid link bracelet, screws, solid end links. Um, what do I wanna say? Oh, diver's extension is buried in the clasp. And this is the Argonautic. It comes in a couple of different colors. Uh, why don't we just totally switch gears and go to one, oops, go to one of the uh, lower cost ones. So no doubt these vintage style quartz models are going to be, I'm sure the runaway hit of the brand, number one because of the price, number two because of the looks. Uh, they are all priced at around 300 bucks. There are some on a Jubilee bracelet. Uh, they'll be a little more elevated in price, uh, but the price is awesome. Swiss made sapphire, just great look. So. These guys are 100 meters water resistant, so it's a push-pull crown. Powered by a Ronda 505-24 movement, which is a GMT movement. 39 millimeters in diameter. 39, guys, under 40. 13 and a half thick to that slightly domed sapphire. 47 on the tip to tip, very comfortable. 20 millimeter lug. Nice, solid screw down case back. Beautiful leather strap. As I mentioned, they also come on bracelets. Sign buckle, of course. Uh, and 
So let's, um, like I said, it is AR, it is Sapphire, it is AR. Let's just look really quickly at the functionality and check out the loom. Everything here is loomed. We pull out the crown, we can change, whoops, two clicks to change the time, right? And the 24 hour hand will rotate once per day. Uh, and then we pull out the crown one click and one direction changes the date, the other direction will move that GMT hand wherever you want it. Um, I think I mistakenly said it's a push-pull crown. I had it unscrewed. It is a screw-down crown. Sorry about that. Uh, and it is a unidirectional bezel. I know folks on GMT bezels, the technically correct way to do it is for it to be bi-directional, but for a watch like this, at a price like this, um, who am I or you to complain? So you can see I'm covering all my bases. Now I'm going to a, uh, a pilot's watch. This is the Swiss Automatic 200 meter pilot's watch. Uh, beautiful, big, burly, screw down crown, knurled very well, easy to grip. Um, you know, you don't often see a pilot's watch with a screw down crown, but I guess if you need 200 meters of water resistance, it's a good idea. And you can see that blue AR coated sapphire, uh, that just Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. This one is around 750. There are versions that are just plain stainless steel cases. They are, I want to say, about 50 bucks cheaper. Uh, again, we're looking at a Salita SW200 automatic hand winding hacking movement, 28,800 beats per hour, 42 millimeter case, 12 and a half thick to that crystal, 48 on the tip to tip, a 22 millimeter lug. Comes on a beautiful brown leather strap, nice stitching. Uh, again, whoops, PVD sign buckle. Um, and it also actually comes with an extra nylon strap, uh, plain black. Oh, something I forgot to mention, uh, the leather strap on here is actually treated to be water repellent. So, you know, not a diver, but if you get it wet, it really is not a major issue because it's treated to uh, repel water and it won't turn ratty on you. Uh, let's see, we did the screw down crown. I think we've pretty much covered this one. Of course, we have loom, and we will get to the loom in a minute. So the last one is the Turnos Swiss Automatic 200 meter diver. This one's got a green dial. Um, in the viewfinder, I don't see so much green, but hopefully on the video, it comes out better. Comes in, I have it in three different dial colors, um, uh, a black, a blue and the green, I believe. Uh, so this is the Turnos. The Turnos is uh, 769. Uh, again, Salita SW200 movement, 40 millimeters in diameter, 12 and a half thick, 48 on the tip to tip, 20 millimeter lug, nice solid bracelet, screwed links, solid screw down case back. We do have an AR Sapphire with a Cyclops. If you remember the Argonautic or Argonautic, no Cyclops. Uh, of course, a screw down crown for 200 meters of water resistance, hand winds, hacks, whole nine yards, beautiful 120 click bezel, of course, Mercedes style hands, um, but a nice, you know, a, a good size at 40 millimeters, uh, not overly large, beautiful screw down back. Nice deep notches in there if you ever need service, you know, your tool's not going to slip out and scratch it up. Solid end links. Um, I believe we have a, a uh, diver's deploying. Yes, we do. If I put it over a wetsuit, there is a deployant clasp there. Uh, the clasp itself, not the greatest. It's, it, you can tell it's folded and molded. Uh, it's not milled, but not the bracelet itself is gorgeous. So what we'll do is, uh, I guess we'll do a night shot and then we will, I guess I gotta try them all on, right? Too bad for me, let's, so let's get to it. Okay guys, ready? We're gonna flip out the lights. So we've got the Turnos, the Pilot, uh, the Vintage, and the Argonautic. Remember, this guy's got BGW-9, so uh, he should uh, be blue. And sure enough, there you go. It looks like he's got BGW-9 also, because he's blue. Uh, but beautiful green, super loom, beautiful green, super loom, even though you know, this had the vintage markings. Um, it looks great. Look at this. The bezel is done beautifully. The bezel's done in BGW9 as well. Easy to read. Looks good. Easy to read. Looks good. Bezel not done. Uh, just the pip is loomed. And of course, these two guys. Look, even the tip of the GMT hand is loomed right there. Nifty. Okay, let's try them on and be done. So in no particular order, number one is the Turnos, the 40 millimeter diver. 
obviously it's going to fit me perfect. Awesome looking, a Swiss diver, automatic, everything you need uh, at a, you know, a really good price for, uh, for what you're getting. Here is that awesome pilot's watch. Below the bone, above the bone. On the strap, I'm actually one hole away from the end. So six and three quarters, six and a half might be the smallest wrist for it. Um, the strap is super. You know, it's thick, but it's super comfortable. It looks awesome. Next up is the 39 millimeter vintage. This thing looks amazing. This strap is gorgeous. Look at the, the aging, the quote unquote burning, the edges of it, the detail on it. It looks awesome. It really looks nice. Great colors on the bracelet. Uh, it comes in blue, uh, maroon, lots of different colors, lots of different options, and at, at like $2.99 or so, uh, a definite steal. And the last one is the Argonautic, probably eh, maybe just too large for me. I mean, if I wanted to, I'd wear it, but it's a fairly big watch. I know watches are big when they fit over my hand without having to open the clasp. <laughs> uh, below the bone, though, this one's ridiculous, so definitely looks better up here. Uh, I guess it comes in a couple of different colors, but definitely shines through. So this has been Mark from LongIronWatch.com showing a couple of new Devosa watches or the Devosa brand and some new Devosa watches. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram if you don't. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.